we adopted our boys through uh, the adoption register and Be My Parent. So we found them in Be My Parent and at the same time we were linked through adoption register and the boys are white British. Um, and the whole cultural thing hasn't been a huge issue for us, you know, the boys have really learned how to deal with um, their lives as being half Singaporean, I can see, and half English. I became the stay-at-home dad. Um, we were told that one of us would, had to stay, would have to stay at home for a year. Uh, that turned into three years ago. <laughs> and um, since then we've, I've started writing a blog, which has been great. Written a book, which has been great. Uh, working with a guy called Monkey. Yeah, this is Monkey. Um, and Monkey now talks to primary school children about being adopted by a human family and also about having a sister who is uh, a zebra, or she will be, so uh, about getting out there and about letting primary school children know that families come in all shapes and sizes. There are so many children sitting there waiting for families and it's not about whether or not you want a family, it's about whether or not you can create a loving home and a loving bond between yourself and these two children, in our case two children. I wouldn't change it. You know, we've had a lot of difficulties, we've had a lot of ups, we've had a lot of downs. Sounds really cliche, we've had a roller coaster of a ride, but I wouldn't change anything. It's been amazing and our two boys are incredible. This whole award today is not about me, it's about family. And you know, if I'm if you're looking to adopt, I would say to you, go and see, go and find out. It's not for everybody. It is difficult um, and people who choose to do it I think are very brave. I wouldn't have called myself brave, now I do. Um, and it's a lot of sacrifice but at the same time it's the most rewarding thing you will ever do. I'm Claire Grogan and I am a, an adoptive mum. I adopted my little girl um, many, many years ago, almost nine years ago now, and I'm also now a patron of Bath, which is an enormous privilege and honour to be part of such a great organisation. Well, actually, after I adopted my daughter Ellie with my husband Stephen, um, Bath got in touch and said, we think you'd make a great person to speak about adoption. And I, I, I shied away for, for a very long time. And then, as you know, my, I became part of this family and I realised that I just wouldn't have this family without adoption. As corny as it sounds, I really wanted to, you know, show my support for it. And actually to share with other people what adoption meant and how your dreams can be fulfilled. And when I talk about adoption, I just always sound so ridiculous in many levels because I'm not a soppy person. But I wanted to be a mum more than anything else in life. And when it became the hardest thing possible for me to do, and also my husband Stephen wanted to be a dad, and then we managed to adopt this beautiful child and become a family. It's really worth putting yourself out there for. We've adopted for uh, just over eight years. Uh, we've got a boy and a girl who are now teenagers. Um, and in terms of experience, the experience has been like everybody, they'll use the phrase up and down, um, but it has been positive and very rewarding. But at the same time, obviously, very challenging. It's considering what, what you are, um, what you are creating and what you are giving and it's that if a lot of people might look for things like legacies and that sort of thing what they can give to the next generation what you are doing is you are giving somebody a chance helps develop and also the benefits that that brings back to you as well we started adoption the adoption process in 1996 for our eldest child who's now eight um, and then we decided we wanted to adopt a sibling for her so we went through the process a couple of years ago for her youngest sibling um, not birth sibling but now obviously she's got a sister so we have two girls um, who we've adopted and they are our world basically and I like to um, put aside put across the positive side of adoption and um, to let people know that you can be a normal family and that adoption is um, an option basically.